Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, Cameron Diamond here, and I uh, want to welcome you to my NXT TakeOver New York review. Now it's at 12.43 in the afternoon, I do want to apologize about that. I'm kidding. No, I'm not sorry about the time. But I have to be leaving in a couple of minutes because I gotta go to work, so... But let's go ahead and let's talk about NXT TakeOver uh, New York. But before I do... Um, the gaming videos, I know I haven't done them lately, but, um, that's going to change tonight, hopefully because I've been tired the last few days and therefore haven't really gotten a chance to do any gaming videos, but, um, <sighs> but hopefully, um, Now I lost train of thought. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, no, I remember now. Um, but hopefully tonight we'll do a gaming video. Maybe a Call of Duty video. Maybe uh, zombies or multiplayer. But uh, anyways. Um, but let's talk about NXT TakeOver New York. So the first match of the night was the War Raiders defending the tag team titles against Ricochet and Aleister Black fantastic tag team match uh the spot uh for me was the stare down between alistair black and roe of course black going for the black mask kick tagging ricochet and going for the shooting star press um and then of course hansen pushing alistair black towards ricochet and breaking up the penfall and then at the end uh the war raiders uh pick up the victory by doing their black uh, back suplex leg drop combo with the one two three and retaining the uh, tag team titles and then of course after the match um, Ricochet and Aleister Black get a standing ovation chanting uh, the fans chanting you deserved it um, and of course they deserved all the praise the credit in the world that because they have worked um, hard on NXT and now that it's their last um, showing on NXT um, now they're going up to the main roster as now probably part of Raw or Smackdown one of the two but um but Aleister Black and Ricochet picked up the uh, or it gets the fans respect always 100% anyways um but the War Raiders retain the tag team titles. Now the next match is for the NXT North American Championship as um, Matt Riddle goes up against the champion for the Velveteen Dream. Now uh, Matt Riddle supporting the New York Yankees wearing the pinstripe New York Yankees look. Whereas the Velveteen Dream <laughs> goes for a Statue of Liberty look. Which I actually kind of like that one. I want to go back also to the War Raiders entrance real quick. I like it how they were for like the Viking Army and of course their their entrance with the uh, coming out from the floor with their crowned hor horned crowns. Always, always good. But anyways, Matt Riddle and Velveteen Dream for the North American title. Great match. Uh, the spot I liked was uh, Matt. Um, Velveteen Dream going for the top rope, but Matt Riddle catches Velveteen Dream into a German onto the outside. Always freaking, that was actually impressive. Um, Matt Riddle on a few occasions thought he could have won the match, and I thought he almost did when he had the submission, but Velveteen Dream countered it into a pin predicament with the one, two, three. Velveteen Dream retains the championship and of course the pump uh the bro pump uh bump fist the fist bump uh connection uh showing the signs of respect between dream and matt riddle showing that uh matt riddle is not mad he they had a good match and it was a great match so the next uh contest is for the wwe united kingdom title as pete dunn defends against walter now, well, Walter made his debut maybe about a month or so ago, and he's been dominating. And Pete Dunne's been a champion for 685 
uh, days as champion, but you can't take anything away from it. That he made the title look good, and he makes a really good champion. But anyways, um, Walter ends up picking up the victory and won the United Kingdom title. And I actually predicted Walter breaking the record. And, uh, of course, uh, John, who did the NXT TakeOver prediction videos uh, with me, um, he actually, this is how the score went. John went with one because he said the War Raiders to retain. He also had two because of Velveteen Dream, and I had one point because of Velveteen. And I said Walter to retain the title. So, so we were 2-2 two -two each. And then um, next, we had the Fatal 4-Way match uh, between, uh, for the NXT Women's Title, um, as Shia Baszler defends against uh, Kyrie Sane. Bianca Belair and Io Shirai. Um, Shia Baszler retains, actually, which was a surprise, um, by putting uh, Bianca Belair into the submission. After taking forever with the... Uh, oh, my God. I didn't believe Bianca Belair could pull it off. She put Kyrie Sane and Io Shirai on her shoulders for a double... I don't know what you want to call it, like a double, like a double flapjack face buster or whatever it is, but amazing work by Bianca Belair, but uh, Shia Baszler retains the championship and with a standing effort. And then now we get to the main event, uh, Adam Cole versus uh, Johnny Gargano for the vacant NXT title. Of course, uh, you know why it's vacant, uh, I mentioned it in the predictions video, but I'll go ahead and re uh reliterate um and i gotta get going here in a little bit anyways um tomaso Ciampa went uh under neck surgery and therefore had to vacate the championship so therefore uh johnny gargano who was actually supposed to be tomaso Ciampa's opponent for the nxt title um went up against the winner of the like a fatal far away match to face whoever will be Johnny Gargano's opponent, and it was Adam Cole. Adam Cole picks up the victory, and then they had this two out of three false match. But uh, I believe Adam Cole and Johnny Gargano had one point each, and then at the end of the night, Johnny Gargano picked up the victory with the new in and is the new NXT champion, and celebrating with his wife and now I think his best friend again, Tommaso Ciampa. After Tommaso comes out with the neck brace, and in and. I guess they ended their kind of rivalry and now they're friends again with the respect of Tommaso Ciampa to Johnny Gargano and Johnny Gargano is the new champion. So um, NXT TakeOver New York always good show. Uh, NXT TakeOvers are always good shows. But anyways, uh, tonight is going to be the Hall of Fame induction ceremony and then tomorrow night is WrestleMania where I'm going to be doing a live reaction and a Q&A session on WrestleMania 35. I hope you guys send in your questions so I can answer them while watching live reactions of me and my buddy watching WrestleMania 35 and enjoying ourselves having pizza or something. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed NXT TakeOver New York review. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all. Later.